sometimes it's what's on the inside that really counts. Hi, sorry to wake you. Your introvert is having a heart attack. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths, the series that finds the biggest myths that people actually believe and dispels them one by one. In today's installment, we'll be counting down the five myths about introverts that we've been keeping bottled up. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. An introvert is defined as a person more focused on internal considerations, such as their own thoughts and feelings, rather than external factors in the world. It's become somewhat of a buzzword on social media in recent years, resulting in a number of stereotypes and generalizations about this personality. So is our lives. We're digging deep into the world of introverts to finally get to the bottom of what this term really entails. To be alone. Do you feel alone right now? Myth number five, introverts don't make good leaders. If they're always lost in their own thoughts and turning inwards, how can an introvert possibly take on the responsibilities essential to a leadership role? A good leader engages with their team. They don't close themselves off. Get out of your own way. Focus on what's important here. But see, the reality is, both introverts and extroverts can make good leaders, and good public speakers as well. They just approach such roles differently. Introverted CEOs will likely describe a corporate cocktail party as a living nightmare, but when working with a team, their introverted nature helps them to express themselves clearly and concisely, having fully developed their ideas before sharing. Shyness is about fear of social judgment. Introversion is more about how do you respond to stimulation, including social stimulation. This ability equally applies to public speaking, as exemplified by Susan Cain's TED Talk presentation, The Power of Introverts. Four in ten CEOs are introverts, including Bill Gates. It's a huge accomplishment. Yep. Myth number four, introverts are smarter than extroverts. Oh, that's what this is all about? You think you're better than us? Catch on quick, I didn't model you in. The behavior of introverts shares a lot in common with the oft-romanticized, tortured genius archetype, resulting in an unfair association between introversion and intellect. Introverts are often seen as underdogs with untapped potential, while extroverts are treated as social and corporate climbers, getting ahead with their charms. An example from pop culture, Elliot the introvert and Ollie the extrovert in Mr. Robot. But in the real world, this dichotomy of personality types has no relation to intelligence. Yo, buddy. Missed you last night. Where were you? Gotta go. Big meeting today. You can find people of brilliant, average, and subpar levels of intellect in both categories. These two brains work differently on a scientific level, but these differences cannot be measured in a quantitative sense. The two personality types each score better in different types of tests, each displaying intellectual strengths and weaknesses. It's kind of a double-edged sword, isn't it? Myth number three, introverts always want to be alone. I don't know this brooding introvert shit, okay? Not to dwell on Mr. Robot, but again, Elliot Alderson works as a nice case study of how introverts are misunderstood. He may be an introvert, but his desire to completely shut himself from others is a result of severe social anxiety and depression, not his introverted personality. Actually, you're right. Partly. Confusion over the two is common, however, in both media representations and in real life. Even for introverts, it can be hard to distinguish between a natural inclination towards alone time and an unhealthy isolation resulting from a mood disorder. I find that polishing my interactions in order to make them social requires a tremendous effort. Introverts still crave social interactions. They simply prefer a more intimate setting with close friends. Dinner or a movie night might be great, but a mixer, orientation or house party is pretty much a worst case scenario. But of course, at the end of the day, it's all subjective. Oh man, this sucks. Sucks. Myth number two, introverts don't like people. The mythic desire of introverts to be alone naturally brings us to this next misconception, that introverts dislike people. Ever heard someone say that they simply prefer the company of a good book? Introverts need alone time to properly process their thoughts and recharge their social batteries, but they still care for others. I know you're home. What? I know you're home. Based on their tendency to eschew larger social events or large group hangouts, they develop fewer friendships. But those friendships are usually quite strong and meaningful, involving high levels of trust. Can you dance, Mr. Garcia? Not if I can help it. Because despite the common misconception to the contrary, introverts do like to talk. They just shy away from superficial conversations with strangers. Meaningful conversations are crucial to their development of ideas, and to have them, they need close friends and trusted colleagues. Don't be surprised if she tells you to f off. Myth number one, introverts are shy. Nope, not quite. 
people often struggle to define introversion without bringing up social anxiety or shyness. It's easy to confuse the three, as they all relate to a sense of discomfort or disinterest in large social settings. But the terms are not interchangeable. Shyness is more accurately characterized by a desire to speak or interact with others, but an inability to do so out of fear of rejection or judgment. A shy person may long to spread their social butterfly wings, but self-consciously makes it difficult for them to leave their cocoon. Introverts simply require less socializing to maintain a sense of well-being. They intentionally seek out settings with less external stimulation. An introvert can be shy, but the term should not be used as synonyms. Hello? Is anyone there? I love you. Oh. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.